So this is not my first time here. I made this photo something like two years ago before even starting uh, making YouTube videos. But I can't show you the photo because I deleted uh, directly after <laughs> coming back home. I didn't like the photo at all. Today I came again and I'm trying to take the same photo but today with my uh, Sigma Super Zoom lens. If you want to see my review about this lens you can see the link here. Um, I didn't like that photo because I was I, I tried a lot of things I tried I as I remember with the 50 millimeter lens and I tried with the 18 millimeter lens the 1805 uh, millimeter lens and the Nikkor uh, 1805 millimeter but I didn't like the photo and I couldn't uh, make the photo like what what was in my mind or or I mean this is not what I was thinking about after coming back home and I saw the photos I feel this is not what my eyes was looking at were looking at at that, at that day and that's why I deleted the photos directly and I didn't like them yesterday I was trying to see the direction of the sun with the application called uh, photo Build, just to be sure uh, before coming here to be sure where is the sun located and Unfortunately, it's located in this place and not the other place. I will tell you why I'm saying unfortunately because if I want to take photos into the sun like this, I like to take photos into the, into the sun and to have backlit on the branch of the trees. But the problem is the street at the end of this small way is distracting a lot and I don't like it. So that's why I didn't use the other direction because as you know when I use uh, a zoom lens I will compress the scene and the background which is the street will be so visible in the photo and it's so distracting so this is the point which I want to talk about today the main reason that I went back here and the main reason of uh, this video uh, it happens uh, a lot of times all of us I think even if you are professional photographers that happens to you obviously you can't always be sure that the photo you are taking is the photo you have in your mind I think that happens in most cases with Anyone who is new to, pho the, to photography, uh, uh, anyone who doesn't uh, exactly know the difference between the focal length and the 50 millimeter lens, which is the same as the human eye, the ultra wide angle 10 or wide angle 18 millimeter, or for example 100, 200, 300 millimeter, something like uh, super zoom lens. Anyone who doesn't have a very good knowledge about the difference that the focal lens made, it's hard to. To always be happy with the photo he is taking because he or she is not uh, aware that uh, what you are watching with your eyes a little bit different or can be also a very big uh, different from what our cameras understand in terms of dynamic range this is the first important thing as you can see behind me there's a lot of highlights because our cameras now i'm using my smartphone our cameras can't see like our eyes when there's a lot of highlights and shadows the dynamic range of our uh, cameras is totally different from the dynamic range of our eyes and this is very big difference the first one the second reason is as i said the focal lens when you are using 10 millimeters or for example 18 millimeters or 100 200 300 millimeters that plays a very important role in in making the scene very different from what we are watching with our eyes so now i will show you the photo that i took i will take it uh, normal uh, at the beginning with the uh, with my phone, as all of us do, we see a beautiful scene and we take it directly with our phone, we take the photo with our phone. I will take the photo with my phone, I will take it with 10 millimeter. after that 20, after that I will change my lens, the Sigma ultra wide angle 10, 20 millimeters. I will change it and I will use the Nikkor 50 millimeter lens, which is like the human eye. Uh, I will use it and take the same photo to prove to you that the photos will look so different, especially if there's a uh, uh, the focal lengths between the photos are very big. The difference in the focal length is very big. Uh, the scene will be so different. So now I'm recording with my smartphone. Let's say that I saw this scene and I decided just to take a normal photo with my phone. But I will take it in portrait mode. 
this is not what I'm actually uh, seeing right now with my eyes. There's a lot of distractions here, for example. This is not the photo that I'm thinking about. And the main difference is that with my eyes, this tree here with my eyes looks bigger in the photo because obviously my eye is a 50 millimeter lens, but now I'm using, I think my phone is something like 80 millimeter. And as you know, whenever you are using a wider focal length, the scene in the middle will look smaller as what we are watching in our eyes. So now I will put my ultra wide angle, the 10 millimeter lens, and I will try, as I said, I will try at 10 millimeter and at 20 millimeters, and I will show you the scene. So as you can see right here, I'm standing exactly at the same place, but the scene in the wide angle, <laughs> it looks so, so chaotic. I, I can't control anything. It's the tree here. The tree is so, so small and the foreground here, the, the ground and the branch are very big and <laughs> the scene looks totally different. I have a lot of foreground and the branch, they are taking very big uh, place in the photo and what what I want about this photo is what I really want about this photo is this road here and the tree they are so small right now and they don't take only a very small place in the photo because of the distraction of the ultra wide angle so I will try to be a little bit closer to the to the tree but that will not play any role I think so now I try to be closer to the to this tree here but as you can see, the the other tree here is so 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 wide away. And I mean, the main the main reason of this photo, the main reason that I I like this scene is only this this small way here and the tree like here. And if I want to take this photo with ultra wide angle, this will not work at all because it's taking what I like in this photo is taking a very small place in the picture and there's a lot of distraction in the sky. I don't like the sky and I don't like the foreground. It's so chaotic and the photo don't doesn't work at all. I'll try now to go to 20 millimeter. Exactly like that this is a 20 millimeter lens on a curved frame. That means 30, 30 millimeters on full frame camera. Even like that, I ha still have a lot of distractions. I have the sky the foreground here and the sky and the tree is a little bit bigger than the 10 millimeter this is the 10 millimeter and this is the 20 millimeter thus the tree is a little bit bigger right now but still not the main subject of the photo and there's a lot of distractions like this here you may say okay you can go uh, closer to the tree and even if I went and even if I did that so now I'm closer to the to the tree to the second tree as you can see and there's still a lot of distractions and the sky I don't like this I don't like the sky at all maybe if it's summer and there's a lot of leaves and they are plucking the sky it will be it will be better I think it will be better but in this particular photo I don't need I don't want any sky because the branch so so empty uh, now as you can see i will record uh, a video with my 50 millimeter lens now i change it to my nikkor 50 millimeter lens 1.8 d the scene start to be a little bit better as you can see uh, you can see you can say right now that uh, the tree here is the main subject now the road or the sm the small way here start to be more visible and the tree is more visible standing at the same place exactly where i was using my ultra wide angle lens but now with the 50 millimeter lens is a little bit better the photo is totally clear now and the main subject with is the, this road the small road here and the tree is more visible but i still have some problem as you can see i still have the sky here i still have this branch i don't like this branch at all and i still have the sky and i still have this area here i don't like it. if you compare this scene with the photo that I show you at the beginning it's more compressed the photo is more compressed and I have the photo is so visible and so clear that only the tree and the way here
Some of you may like the light conditions in the second photo the 50mm lens. Since there was something like 1 hour or 2 hours between the two photos, so the sun went lower and made more shadows in the composition. But let's now concentrate on the composition. For me, I find that the compression in the first photo makes it a lot better and less chaotic in terms of compressing the road to have that S-curve and at the same time excluding the sky and the distracting branches. On the other hand, I don't like the white areas which come from the sky in the second photo, which is with the 50mm lens. But I will tell you honestly that I am still not totally convinced with the photo. I will try again in another season and another light condition, because I am still sure that I can have better results if the light direction is from the other side and the tree is full with green or yellow leaves. As you can see, the program photo builds gives me that the sunrise direction in July will be very good and I will be able to take the same photo with the sun making backlight or backlit to the tree during the morning golden hour. And obviously in July there will be lots and lots of green. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. I hope you have now better understanding about the difference, the big difference between the focal lenses. Uh, lengthed. Yeah, right? Yeah. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are not already and see you after two weeks. Bye.